So he, he kind of, you know, just perception, you know, the, this N the NFL is about narratives and, um, you know, organizations build narratives, the fans build narratives, um, coaches build narratives, and obviously he's had a narrative that he's had to fight. And, um, you know, see him be in this situation and leading our team and be, you know, a franchise quarterback and uh, really flourish in this offense, it's really couldn't happen to a better person. Speaking of narratives, how do yeah. you see the perception of your team yeah. from the outside? Because, you know, beginning yeah. with Dan, you know, yeah. we were just talking to Michael about it a minute ago. Yeah. You know, I mean, he, he presents a certain image yeah. here. And it seems like you guys are, you know, on the outside who don't know about you guys. There's not a lot of commercial stars here. Right, yeah. Um, are pretty embraceable. Naturally. Yeah. Feel that at all, yeah, I think that we play, um, you know, a game that not a lot of a lot of teams across the league play, and uh, like you said, we don't necessarily have any superstars or you know guys making twenty, thirty million dollars a year, and um, you know that's that's really what we're about. And obviously, I think we're gonna have some guys making some good money soon. Yeah. But yeah. Um, you know, obviously, we built through the draft, and uh, you know, we just have that gritty mentality, and you know, it's like a buzzword around here, and everyone says it, but we really live by it. Yeah. Today. How much were you guys focusing on just trying to be difference makers and get takeaways as well? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the first one was huge. It set the tone for the game. Um, you know, this game's about turnovers, and, um, you know, when the ball was in the air those two times, we were able to make plays on it. And, you know, at the end of the game, Derek made a really good play. And, um, you know, it's funny on the mic, AG made sure to remind me that it was Miller <laughs> time when we do get this interception. And, um, you know, it's funny, he kind of predicted really? it. So, um, yeah, Derek got it, made a great play and great catch. How cool is it to see a guy like that yeah. get rewarded for his tenacity? Yeah, 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 it's awesome. You know, there's really not a better guy than Derek on our team. Um, you know, it's the more you get to know him and uh, the more you spend time with him, the more you realize how great of a person he is. And, um, you know, it's a production-based business, and he's been playing, you know, some roles that he doesn't necessarily, is more benefits the team. and. Um, you know, he's stepping up in big moments. It's it's just awesome to see. Has it sunk in yet that you guys are going to the NFC Championship game? Uh, not yet. I'll probably go home, give my my kids and wife a hug, and um, you know, probably once we start talking about this, it, it is pretty surreal. Um, but it is it is definitely in our vision and our goal. Hey, Alex, can you put in the words what you think this means to the fans that have been here for such a long? Time? Yeah, I mean, this is huge. I don't think there's another Detroit Lions team. Um, that's won two playoff games in a year. So, um, you know, we're at, at this point in time, I think we're cementing our, time, our you know, place in history, in Detroit Lions history, and just cool to be a part of this group and be a part of it.